this conference. This is a different one. Each one is different. It has different warfare, different trials, different attacks, different arrows, different, you know, spiritual fire trying to shoot at you and 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 work against you so i gotta pray the way god is telling me to pray for this one because god showed me and i don't know if you remember in the bible of matthew 17 jesus was trying to show the disciples the mysteries of heaven he translated all of them he translated them up into heavenly a heavenly realm and he wanted them to talk to elijah and to moses and his disciples said well should we be here should we build a tabernacle for you, Elijah, and Moses. And so they were in their flesh, and they weren't ready to receive the heavenly things that God was trying to reveal to them. God told me during this conference that he was going to allow us to step into futuristic things that are in heaven, the glory that he wants to rest on his people. God told me we will be able to step in futuristic glory because God has already visited March the 8th and the 9th in our future. And he said, those women that come that aren't afraid, that will not get in their flesh and say, shall I build a tabernacle, will be able to receive the oil and the anointing in a futuristic way so that when the enemy tries to penetrate them, they're already oiled up with stuff God has rebuilt to them in the spirit of the living God with respect to future attacks. So I'm so excited about that because God is going to thank you God glory Yes, Lord. God is going to allow us to step in other dimensions and other realms. Not in the natural, but futuristic realms for those that want it. And I saw God throwing. I saw the glory. I saw his fire tumbling. I saw it tumbling. And I saw his fire picking up momentum. I did. I saw it picking up momentum. And those that are in the path of his fire will pick up the momentum of his fire, his anointing. And anything that is around them that is not of him will be destroyed. It will be. God will burn it up, but anything that is of him, they will maintain, they will keep, but they will pick up momentum. And even Sunday, God let me hear in church, he let me hear the wind moving. I heard the wind moving, and God reminded me of the book of Ezekiel. I heard the Holy Spirit wind and tumbling, and I told him in church, the wind is tumbling. And so God told me there's mysteries and things. The angels, even as I talk to you, I see the angels standing there with swords. I see the angels. Thank you, God. God told me that these type of things are going to open up to us in the spirit realm. We'll see this stuff for those that come, for those that that dare to come and receive this rim of anointing and outpour. God is not going to let us down. And so this is why I've had such attacks on everything from my mom to my house, to my business, to my relationships with people I love and care about. This is why to my body, I've had these attacks. But I know that God is going to do something so much greater. And I had to regroup, Jamie. I had to regroup. I had to regroup. And I had to get back on track because it tried to knock me out yesterday. Mm, 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 mm. But look at God today. Mm, He tried, but it didn't work. Wow. This conference, y'all, I know I have been to the conference with Apostle Burl in the past. And I can tell you when I came back, I was on another level that I didn't have before I had went to Alabama down there for the prayer conference that she had down there. And I'm telling you, it's an experience that you just have to experience. You just have to trust God and get get out there and be a part of it and see what's going on because it is so many attacks going on on the people of God. And Apostle Verl is one of the strong ones that will not let it hinder her, but we have so many other women who are letting it just take them in a whole other direction from what God is saying. They're running from what God is saying instead of running to just because they see opposition. So I want to give y'all the date and the times and stuff and also give y'all Apostle Verl's um, cash app. If you want to go ahead and do that, Apostle, you can. 
Well, the date is March the 8th and 9th. It's going to be held in Greenbelt, Maryland at the Greenbelt Hilton. I have a wonderful discount at the Greenbelt Hilton Hotel. You can go on my uh, website under uh, www.verlhowardministries.com. That's V-E-R-Y-L howardministries.com for more information. It's also on my Facebook page under Apostle Verl Howard, V-E-R. YL. We have some dynamic speakers. We have Anna Stevenson, Prophetess Anna Stevenson. She's going to be teaching on a spiritual bomb, almost killed me, but I survived. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have uh, Pastor Shatanda Kelly from Augusta. She actually is the manager, general manager of 1380 WNR in Augusta, Georgia. We have an awesome anointed man of God. This is Men can come as well with their wives or girlfriends or fiancés. His name is Apostle Nate Cole. He is also a phenomenal uh, instrumentalist, worshiper. He is uh, He's an artist as well as an apostle, and he moves out with such anointing and power. We have Minister Regina, who's going to be talking about the warfare on our finances, spiritual warfare. She's a warrior against debt and poverty and things like that. She will be there. And then we have our prayer warriors, Minister Tara, Prophetess Deborah Oseta, and Minister Venetia. And we hope, Minister Jamie, that you make it. We hope you make the sacrifice. Um, You know, I really do. I hope a lot of the prayer warriors come. This is not a conference. This is a movement from God. And I I know what I saw in the spirit. I saw God chiseling. I saw statues of women, statues, just statues. And I saw the hand of God chiseling the stones off of them so they can move out in another realm of their purpose. Mm, That is good right there. I will certainly try. I will try. I'm going to see what I can do. I would definitely love to be there. When I first saw the flyer, I was like, God, I would love to be there. So I would definitely try to make arrangements to get up there. If not, I would definitely send a donation in because I do believe in the ministry and the work that you are doing for the Lord. I know it has personally helped me. I know there was times I was stubborn, but when I look back now that I've gotten more mature, I see that there was things on me that I couldn't see because it was me until I stepped out of myself and stepped into who God wanted me to be. And, Amen. Um, I want you to come. You need to be there. This is a movement, and we're a lot closer to you in North Carolina than Alabama. We're a lot, lot closer now, and I really believe that something dynamic is going to happen that is explosive. And it is a tour. I'm before the Lord for the next location, Um, but I know this is the birthing of it. And so being that this is the birthing of it, you know, there's something that's going to happen here in the birthing room, in the birthing chambers. And women will never, ever be the same. And they're going to get what they need in them for this realm of what God wants to do with them because we know there's greater heights and deeper depths and higher dimensions. And for this realm, even with me, I'm being shifted. And for this realm, I know God is going to do something uh, crazy with them, even with the attacks. You know, we had an attack on the prayer line, you know, things mm-hmm. like that. Things I was like that. that. Yeah, things like that. That was demonic. That was nothing but the enemy trying yeah. to distract and discourage. And that's just an example of how the enemy has tried to do that with getting me off the plan of God. But I rebuke him and I just ask God to hold me up and keep me steadfast and, and do his thing on March the 8th and 9th at the Greenbelt Hilton starting at 7 o'clock that Friday all day long from 9 to 5 on Saturday. And we have vendor spots for those that want to vend. Uh, you know, it's just going to be a time before the Lord. So I hope those that are listening will come up and join us. And they can call. They can call. The number to call is 910 one eight two four. If they even want more direction, they need more clarity. Nine one zero six four four one eight two four. Thank you, Jamie, for having me on here today. Yes, it was a pleasure to have you on here. And um, can you give out your cash app so those that may m- want to donate, they can donate. And also, if you want to register, you can also send your money to um, her cash app. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The cash app is dollar sign V. E R Y L H O W 
A-R-D. It's dollar sign Verl, V-E-R-Y-L, H-O-W-A-R-D. I do have PayPal as well, but PayPal is a, you know, a little different. It's paypal.me backslash Verl Howard. But I prefer the Cash App. Cash App doesn't take money from you. You know, you get it, whatever they send or they intend to send, you get the blessed. So, yeah. um, so yet. Yeah, so, yes, I thank you for any of them that want to um, sow into the ministry. You will not be disappointed. Amen. And I thank you so much, Apostle Vera Howard, for stopping by and doing this interview with me. It's nothing but a move of God and only greatness to come ahead. And those of you, please don't forget the Women Warriors on the Frontline Prayer Conference is going down March the 8th through the 9th. You don't want to miss this. You want to come in and be a part of it. All right. So thank you so much. And do you have any last words that you would like to say to anyone that may be going through any type of attacks in their life? Um, I, you know, I just want to encourage them and tell them that it's the natural. Don't let the natural clip you up because it may look like um, something totally different from the spiritual and you don't know what God is doing in the midst of the attack. So stay on your face and don't let it jar you. Don't let it pull you away from your assignment. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it make you just get, you know, to a point of, I'm not going to do this. I'm just, forget it. I'm not going to do it. No, because it is designed to take you out. So we can't give that type of power to the enemy. The enemy would want me to not do this conference, but I, I'm not going to stop. God call me from my mother's womb. God has called you from your mother's womb to do what he has anointed you to do. So rise up, step up, jump over the hurdle, and get it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Well, thank you so much. And, and you listeners, be sure to share this broadcast with your whichever social media site, your own iHeartRadio Spotify, Spreaker, YouTube, be sure to share with someone. If you can't make it, be a gift and share with somebody else to hear this broadcast. Thank you. Oh. Hey, this is a fast Sabrina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. I mean, Who is this? <laughs> yeah, because in this, I've had some challenges with my phone. And every place, so many times, I, you know, I don't have to change the number. I have to do that. I just call. I don't want my book, and I don't know who's calling me.